Mate, welcome to Capital Industry with me, Jilly. Today we're talking about all things advanced logistics. Why advanced logistics? Well, it's a very, very powerful tool. Very, very powerful. Consequently, it's a little bit complicated, a little bit complicated how to set it up. Uh, so today we're going to be running through advanced logistics. At the same time, I'm going to remind you guys, there is always chapters down the bottom. There's chapters down the bottom in case you want to come back, refer to different things, double check how I did one thing or another. Our plan is basically to split this video into roughly three different sections. First one, we're going to talk about advanced logistics, how it works. Second part is we're going to be doing a demonstration around mining because that's probably the most common place you're going to end up using advanced logistics. Third thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about double dipping, double dipping into the different logistics networks to sort of just maximize your potential. But with all that out of the way, before we get into it, I'm going to ask you one last favor, one last quick favor. Can I borrow that like? Can I borrow the like now? By all means, if you're not happy with the video, you didn't find it informative, you can have it back. But till then, can I just borrow it for a little bit? Anyway, with that out of the way, let's talk about advanced logistics. So, I have a little demonstration here. It has one box that said keep full, one box that says keep empty, and one box that says just exist. And as we can see, we have our glass moving around in circles, keeping our little trucks active. At the same time, we need to talk about the main logistics network. So, if we click up here, I have this available to assign. This is our logistics network. This is your main trucks that you have available to do everything in the world. That is to move the iron ore around, to move the glass around, to pick up stuff from the boat, to deliver stuff to the boat. Uh, that is your main logistics. That is all the trucks doing all the different things. At the same time, I have that represented by the green area on the ground. The green area on the ground. This is all inside the general logistics network. And as you can see, they're doing a wonderful job of driving back and forth. But occasionally, we're going to see somebody pick up glass from here, take it to here, to then have to pick up glass from here and take it to here. Which is okay, I guess. They're, they're, they're keeping this one empty as we want, and they're, they're, they're keeping this one full, which is what we want. And this one's just a way station in the middle. So what I want to do is I want to force their behavior. And that's really what the advanced logistics is. It's about forcing truck behavior. So I want to have you have a custom import route. And I want you to just import from this container, only this container. So this is a great way if you've got iron being smelted in multiple places on your map. You don't want them going and getting iron from the far side of the map. You just want them getting iron from one particular spot. Or better example is... If you happen to be chopping down trees on the far side of the map and you don't want the trucks to go driving all the way across the map to go dump it somewhere, you want them to dump it locally, you can do that. And then you can connect two buildings rather than with the belts via automation. Because automation would be a much better way for me to do this. Just hook the two buildings together with the belts. We're going to use Automagic. We're going to use a little Automagic line. I'm going to force the trucks to go from here to here. Okay. It's all the magic. All right, so now we've done that, we can see the glass is being picked up from here. It is only dumped in there because that's the only place they're allowed to dump it. And they're picking up glass from here and bringing it here. Great, problem solved, mm, sort of. We have two networks now, okay? We have the general network plus, oops, plus I have an advanced logistics network of this area, okay? So this is inside the advanced logistics area. It's also inside the normal area. Now I can do one better. I can actually assign a single truck. This truck, this yellow truck here. It's now his only job in life to take glass from here and bring it here. There's a catch. Just because it's his only job in life doesn't mean that everybody can't, else can't do it. Because it's still inside that green zone. It's inside the main logistics network. Which means as long as these guys are not busy, they're going to be able to do it as well. If I happen to make them busy and I found some other job for them to do, like we went and deconstructed a whole build or we suddenly want to empty a giant container full of crap, then the whole main network becomes busy. We still have one truck, one truck to de dedicated to do this no matter what. We're still inside both networks. Okay, we're inside the advanced network plus we're inside the normal network. But, you know, it's it's something we can do to you know make sure that a very important item always gets delivered. We can assign a truck to it. The next thing we can do to make sure the general network doesn't go and pitch in as well, because sometimes sometimes it's really important, but you don't want the general network doing it as well. A couple of things we can do. We can change the priority on things. So if I change this down to a priority 15, it means that the general network has to take care of everything from priority 1 all the way through to priority 14 first. 
Unfortunately, in this particular test map, everything's pretty much taken care of. All right. The other thing we can also do is I can click Accept Assigned Only, which now means it removes this job from the general network. Okay. The general network is not allowed to touch it anymore. It now becomes Mr. Yellow Job. It's his only job to move stuff from A to B. Okay. Until he's got to go get fuel. At which point, nothing happens. So this is your catch with advanced logistics. And also, when you remove stuff from the main network, it then becomes only the assigned truck's job. So if this was mission critical and he's off for a smoker break, a little bit of a refill of the fuel tank, all that sort of stuff, things could get dicey. But it is an option. It is an option. It's something we can do to, you know, speed the system up set it off on its way all right so we're gonna leave this as is yes we're gonna leave this as is export priority mm, let's go with a 10. all right we're gonna leave this as is uh this is how advanced logistics works this is our quick little rundown let's go talk about how it works with mines so let's talk about mining okay i have a little network over here and it is a single mine control tower and as we can see i have five excavators and i have six little yellow trucks and you might call it a mind control tower, mind control tower, either or. Uh, I call it an advanced logistics network because whether you like it or not, this is an advanced logistics network. It has been ever since the start of the game before you had the research. Because as you can see, I have yellow trucks in here only and I have excavators currently hanging around doing nothing, waiting for a truck to service them. And the blue trucks, the blue trucks, the five blue trucks I have in the normal network aren't coming and doing it. Why? Because this is an advanced network, okay? This is an entirely separate network from the general network. So they have to wait for one of these six yellow trucks to come service them. They're the only trucks that are allowed to because they're in an advanced network. Now, the biggest problem I have is, one, I have a really bad truck to excavator, ra excavator ratio. Two, uh, well, they need to go dump the materials. And in my case, the dump ground is all the way over there. It's a long while way away. It's also inside the general network, so the general trucks could do it if I could get the resources out of here into the general network. So what we want to do is we want to set up an advanced network. We're going to have three little containers. I'm going to set one to be dirt, one to be rock if we ever find some, and one to be iron ore. Previously, they were taking iron ore when they had iron ore, and they're dumping it anywhere where iron ore could go. So it's into this smelter, possibly into this smelter if somebody could be bothered, but nobody could be bothered. At the moment, we have dumped this one half full of dirt already. We're going to throw in some rock too. Excellent. And eventually... Oh, there's two iron ore. God, you guys are so working hard. Two iron ore. You should be proud of yourselves. But we're going to have a problem. And the problem is going to arise fairly quickly where we have a situation where there's dirt, and the dirt will not go anywhere. It's just going to sit here because this is full. They've run out of things to do with the dirt. Now, I've seen many people do this. They've had an advanced network set up like this. They've run into this problem and they've obviously gone here. Just empty it. Just empty it. That's what we need to do. And then the blue trucks, the blue trucks from the general network have come across here and they've tried to empty it. And they've done a great job, except they have this error message. And they also have these trucks are still full of dirt. Because this is, has a empty rule, plus it has an import rule, which doesn't work it just doesn't make sense you can't put stuff into a container that's also said to keep the container empty no 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 game just says no so if we slide that back to normal trucks now work they're going to dump the dirt in there and they're going to be full straight away what we need to do is i need to remove this from the advanced net network uh I need to remove these guys from the advanced network. I need to put it in the general network. Best way to do that is have three more containers. Directly connect them in. Okay. Once they're directly connected in, we can have this one, which is now in the general network, say, hey, empty it. Just empty it. Just just empty it. And we'll even give you a higher priority. Like, empty it. Empty the iron ore first. Empty the stone. Mm, rock when you get to it. Empty the dirt when you get to that too. That'd be great. And because we're going to affect the priorities on this, it means when everybody finishes going for a smoker break, <sighs> we're going to have the guys, they're going to come empty the dirt. We'll fill the dirt back up from the other end. They will empty the iron ore eventually, and they're going to only be able to take iron ore to one or two places. It's going to be here or here. They're the only two places we're allowed to have iron ore, and they're going to do exactly that. They're going to take an iron ore to there, which is great. We've got a system working, okay? We have this inside the advanced network and this is outside the advanced network because it's outside the advanced network the trucks from the general network can go and remove the items but 
I want to take things one step further. I always want to take th things one step further. I'd like to double dip. I'd like to double dip into the two networks. Because at the moment, as you can see, this guy's full of dirt. He's full of dirt because they're not picking up the dirt fast enough. They're not collecting the dirt fast enough. He's full of dirt. He has nothing to do. And the excavators have just got back, which is going to make the whole situation worse. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to give him an opportunity, if he's full of dirt, to go put the dirt somewhere. This is when we start double dipping into the networks. Okay. Uh, so what I want to do is I have two towers here. This one is set to dump dirt. This one is set to dump rock. I just need to have the towers where you situate them doesn't really matter as long as you draw their box and inside their box you have somewhere where they can dump the materials there and there now of course the way these are set up currently is the general network can also use them okay anybody from the general network can come dump dirt into this one or rock into this one but these guys can't okay they can only take their dirt their rock and their iron order these three places what i want to do is i want to make sure that they can take their dirt there and their rock there and this only matters once the boxes are full. So we're going to pause the boxes from being emptied to make sure the general network stops doing it. And then I need somebody to fill up the dirt box. That shouldn't take too long. Yep. And then rather than sitting here, being backed up, having nothing to do with that dirt, they're going to take it to this place. This place is another export location. It's further away, so it's further down the list because they go closest to furthest. But they can take the dirt and they can go dump the dirt somewhere. And as long as they can dump this dirt somewhere, it means we don't have this situation where we have a whole bunch of trucks hanging around a tower with nothing to do. Because I'm paying them fuel, I'm paying for their smoker breaks, I'd prefer it if they could do something. At the same time, we can do the same with iron, okay? If the general network has already gone and filled the containers, or the general network is really, really busy doing other things, they're not getting the iron across here fast enough. Rather than have these guys hang around doing nothing, but I can have them do something at least. So what we're going to do is we're going to set you up to be iron ore as well. And I'm going to say, look, this is closest. Dump it here first. If not, go dump it there. And then they can take the iron ore and go dump it there. And we can attach one of these to all of our different smelters. And all we do is we put a box behind a box. Uh, we copy paste that. And we attach that to that box as well. Helps if I build the box. And what's going to happen is this one, it has no advanced logistics on it. It's part of the general network general network the general network will fill this one first and we're going to even assign it to make sure it's keep, kept full make sure it's kept full okay and then what will happen is the advanced network dig uh actually dig more no dig more iron ore i want more iron ore what more iron ore what we can do then do is yes have them come out and they can dump into two dedicated tower and uh, two dedicated boxes further away but that's perfectly fine i don't mind if it's further away because they've filled all the local orders, okay? I want to keep those trucks moving. The last thing you can do if you really want to go all out is I can have another spot. I can have iron ore, uh, iron ore. Yep, and then we can dump our filtered iron ore over here because it's filtered. It's no longer mixed in with dirt. It's no longer mixed in with rock. We can just start building a ramp of iron ore for those times when shit hits the fan and you'd need a little bit of iron ore. So, quick recap. We set up advanced logistics. Okay, advanced logistics over there with our glass set up. And we went through how advanced logistics work. We then set up a mine control tower. Mine control tower, three boxes, nice and simple. Had them bring in the resources and then move it out to the general network. We would have the general trucks generally deal with the waste and generally go dump that on the other side of the map. Because I much prefer the general trucks go deal with the general tra trash rather than my dedicated trucks deal with the dedicated little mining job. Also, you might notice that we went from having five excavators and six trucks and them having a lot of downtime because they're always waiting on the trucks to go do something, to now, well, I've got one guy idle, one guy idle, one guy idle, one guy, yep, two guys, two guys. So I have vastly improved my truck to excavator ratio, which then has put more trucks outside this advanced network and into the general network to handle general jobs, like generally dumping all the soil in the sea. Also, dumping iron ore, because I'm um, iron ore. And yes, then we've taken it one step further, and we've actually set up some advanced routes, so we can actually have uh, iron ore being delivered to the mines by the actual mine tower if the general network can't keep up, or they have nothing else to do. And then we finally we've taken it one step further, where they can now do double dipping, so they can go and they can actually dump the stuff, and they can dump it locally, or... We have a tower, right? 
Yeah, you have a tower set for slag, rock, and all sorts of things. I could set them to this tower instead. And they could be the ones flying across the map to go do that. So whilst the excavators are off on yet another smoker break and refill their diesel tanks, I will ask, is there any chance I can keep that like? I think I earned it. We covered advanced logistics. We covered advanced logistics, how it works. We also covered it more in depth with the mine control tower. Make sure we're really maximizing uh, the the truck to excavator ratio and making sure that they're spending more time digging and less time driving across the map. At the same time, I will, uh, I will remind you guys, you're welcome to subscribe. I reckon it's worth it. More tutorial videos like this. Also, at the same time, I have a full Let's Play going currently, which has lots of little tutorial tidbits, including advanced logistics and how it's actually running in a map and how I'm maximizing it to, well, fill in large parts of the sea bit by bit. Uh, at the same time, I will remind you guys, there will be more tutorial videos coming up in the not-too-distant future, and there's also a playlist down in the description. You're welcome to check out the playlist to see other tutorial videos I've done previously. But with all that said, I think we're going to call this video here. We're going to hope the excavators get back to work, and I'm going to see you guys in the very next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you in the very next one. All right, bye.